My name is Moshe Milman and I'm the co-founder and VP operation of Aplitus. Over the next few minutes I'll show you an introduction to Aplitus Eyes and will guide you through the process of building your first test. Aplitus Eyes is the first cloud service for automated visual testing. It allows you to validate that your web, mobile or desktop application appear well on all the different platforms, devices, operating systems and screen resolutions. We already have more than 1,000 users using our service, ranging from large enterprise companies like AT&T, SAP, Wix and others, as well as SMBs and small startup companies that are also using it to validate their applications. We'll start with explaining the value of Aplitus Eyes and then proceed to a demo to see how it works. The first benefit of Aplitus Eyes is that it allows you to validate the content, data, layout and appearance of all the UI elements on a screen with a single validation command. With Aplitus Eyes, you will no longer need to write validation code for each element individually, like in traditional automation solutions. Our unique image analysis algorithms automatically identify and validate all the UI elements and make it significantly easier to build and maintain your automated test. The second benefit of Aplitus Eyes is that it allows you to perform this validation on all the different browsers, devices, operating systems, screen resolutions, without requiring additional maintenance work for each of the platforms. Another important benefit is functional testing of all the application elements that are visible through the user interface. And when looking at modern applications like web and mobile applications, in many cases a major part of the functionality is exposed through the UI, and by visually validating the UI, you get significant coverage of all the functionality in a fraction of the effort required to achieve similar coverage with existing automation solutions. Another point that is important to mention is that Aplitus Eyes seamlessly integrates with existing test automation solutions like Selenium, Appium, HPQTP or HPUFT, Microsoft Coded UI or any other test automation infrastructure. Let's see an example of building a Java Selenium test and it works in a similar way for all the other tools and languages. The first step is to create an Aplitus Eyes account via aplitus.com. When you log into Aplitus Eyes for the first time, you will be directed to the Getting Started tutorial, which includes relevant installation instructions and code examples. In this case, we're going to build a test in Selenium Java, so all we need to do in order to install the Aplitus Eyes SDK for Selenium is copy the Maven dependency to your pom.xml file. In case you're not using Maven, you can simply add the relevant jar files to your project. After installing the SDK, we are now ready to build our first test. You can start by copying the sample test code from the tutorial page and use it to get started. Let's look at the code to understand how it works. In this example, we have a simple Selenium test which runs on Aplitus.com website. The test starts by opening Firefox browser, navigate to the Aplitus.com website, click on the contact us link, click on the resources link, click on the pricing link and close the browser. In order to add visual validation to this test, all we need to do is the following. First, we create the eyes object at the beginning of the test. Then we set the API key to identify your account. Each customer has his own unique uh, API key, which is completely separate from any other uh, customers. You then call eyes.open to initialize the test. Eyes.open gets the web driver, the name of the application under test, the name of the test, and the browser window size that you would like to test. In case you're using a mobile device to test a mobile application, there is no need to define the size and the size will automatically be taken from the screen size of the device. From this point, all you need to do is call eyes.checkwindow whenever you would like to perform a visual validation of a specific page or a specific window. In this example, we added three checkpoints to cover each of the pages in our test. At the end of the test, we call eyes closed to finalize the test. Now we're ready to run the test. In this case, we're going to run the test once on our production site to create a baseline or the expected result. And afterwards, we're going to run it again on a sample staging site, which includes some specific changes and we'll see how Aplitus Eyes captures and identifies these changes. While the test is running, it is important to emphasize that every check window call validates all the elements on the page except for elements that you choose to exclude which can save many lines of validation code and also make the maintenance process much easier. Since this is the first run of this test, it will be used to create a baseline and any future run will be compared against this baseline. We can now see that when the test finishes, we get a link to the test result in Aplitus Eyes. Let's open the link to see the results. 
We can see that this test ran on macOS, Firefox browser, and we can also see the screen size or the browser window size. When opening the test, we can see the results of the three checkpoints, and we can run, also run playback to see all the actions which happened during the test, including mouse clicks, keyboard inputs, and any other interaction. Now let's run the test again and see how Applitools captures the changes and how to manage these uh, differences. We can now follow the link to the test results and start analyzing the changes. When opening the test result, you can see that this time all the three steps of this test are red, meaning that these steps include some changes or potential issues. In each of the steps, all the differences are highlighted in pink, and you can also click on the flashlight icon to highlight the changes. There is an option to look at the baseline, or the expected result, and the actual result side by side, or you can also toggle between the baseline and the actual result to easily see the changes. For each change, you can decide whether this change is a legitimate evolution of your application or a new feature in the application, and in this case, you can accept this change by clicking on the Accept New button, which will automatically update the baseline and will make this uh, result a new baseline or the new expected result. Or in case this is a, a defect or a bug, you can click on the uh, Bug Report button to report the bug, and also click on the Keep Baseline button and save the test to maintain the existing baseline. Our next tutorial will cover some advanced options for excluding specific changes from your tests, running tests in layout mode, covering floating regions and some more advanced options. Thanks for listening. You're welcome to follow our YouTube channel to see additional tutorials. And also, if you have any questions or would like to get more information about Applitools Eyes, you're welcome to contact us using the link below. Thank you.